Hello everyone! In today's video I'll be showing you how to make this crochet beach tote bag and I hope you will enjoy making it. If you do like this video please hit like and subscribe for future videos. So to make this bag you will need about 230 grams of double knit yarn so over two balls of any double knit yarn i have hayfield bonus double knit one here and it's in color chocolate then you will need 4.5 millimeter hook pair of scissors and needle to hide the tails in so to start off you want to make a loop and pull your tail or your working yarn through to make your slip knot put your hook in and tighten it up so we will start working with the main biggest panel and we will want to chain 45 Once you've got 45 chained you want to start with a single crochet into the next chain so skip the first one and insert your hook into the second one from your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loops that's one single crochet so you want to go ahead and make it every single one and you will have 44 single crochet. And I am now at the last chain here where I'm gonna make my last single crochet. And to start row two, I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. Row two is also going to be all single crochets, so starting with the very first one we have here, make a single crochet and continue doing them till the end of your row. I'm now at the end of my row two, so I'm going to make my last single crochet in the last stitch chain one and turn your work for row three we will be combining single crochets and single crochet spike stitch so in the very first one you want to start with single crochet and in the next one we will make spike stitch but not in the stitch here above our row two but two rows below so our stitch will go into the initial chain so we have the first one here and second there so just below that two rows of bow that's my cat sorry he wants to sit here and help me out so to make a spike stitch you go into the chain we have two rows below pull up a loop and come back and you really want to make this as loose so it doesn't scrunch up your rows so basically pull it to the level of your hook here and then yarn over and pull through and this is how you make a spike stitch so it's kind of a long single crochet and then in the next stitch you want to make single crochet and then another spike stitch so you can see your stitch here two rows below put your hook in pull up a loop make sure you go to the level of your hook and pull through and you want to repeat this by doing single crochet spike stitch below two rows single crochet spike stitch and so on till the end of the row and at the end of your row three I have here two stitches left so I'm gonna do a single crochet and one spike stitch which should be in the last chain here so I'm gonna put my hook in pull up a loop it might be a bit confusing because the yarn is gonna come in the front but don't worry pull it up and pull through both loops and this is how it should look 
So chain one and the stitch count shouldn't change. It, it should still remain 44 stitches. So you will have 22 single crochets and 22 spike stitches for row three and uh, 44 stitches should remain throughout the whole uh, panel. So I'm gonna turn my work now and this row will be a bit different but you want to start with a single crochet in this stitch and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my hook through this bar here which is facing uh, kind of to the left and then I will put my hook through this one which is facing to the right and I'm gonna pull up a loop and make a single crochet then in the next one we will do single crochet and then again we will be doing single crochet through two together so put your hook behind this bar behind the second one and make a single crochet and you want to continue with the single crochet and then single crochet these two together till the end of your row at the end I have three stitches left so I did single crochet and now I'm gonna crochet these two together with a single crochet and I have two stitches left so I'm gonna do two single crochets to finish this row then you're gonna chain one and turn your work for row five so row five is gonna be similar similar to row three. It's just a different placement, but basically you want to start now with the spike stitch two rows below. So there's my row one, row two, and there is my spot here. So I'm gonna put my hook in, pull up a loop, and bring it to the height of my stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. And then I'm gonna make a single crochet in next stitch and then spike stitch again so two rows below is here in this little hole but what you want to make sure is that when you put your hook in you come out in the middle of this triangle not to the side but in the middle of that triangle and then you're gonna pull up a loop and pull through both then do a single crochet and a spike stitch making sure you are in the middle and then continue doing that spike stitch and single crochet till the end of your row So I'm now at the end of my row five. I have two stitches left. So I'm gonna make a spike stitch two rows below. So just here, making sure I come out in the middle, pulling it a bit higher, pulling through both loops and a single crochet in the last stitch. And then you want to chain one to begin row six. This is how it's looking so far and then we're gonna do two single crochets in these two stitches so there's one and two just to kind of make our way for this bar because we need to go through this one and this one to crochet it together then a single crochet in the next one again single crochet two together single crochet into that next stitch and continue with making single crochet crochet two together till the end of your row
and I'm now at the end of my row six. I have three stitches left, so I'm going to do a single crochet here, then crocheting two together for the last time of this row, and in our last stitch, there's going to be a single crochet, then chain one, and you will now need to repeat rows three to six total of six another time so that's gonna make you 30 rows in total and I'll meet you at the end so if you need to go back and watch it again uh, please feel free to do so but yeah just repeat the rows three to six another six times and I'll meet you at the end so I've now got 30 rows I'm gonna chain one here at the end and you can cut your yarn and pull it through and if you're struggling to count your rows because I know especially for the beginners uh, it's quite hard to know how many rows you've got so if you're struggling to do that and you don't want to count every single row what you can do is starting from the bottom with this half square so not with the row of this but with this one you need to count 15 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so that means you have 30 rows in total and once you've got this panel done you will need to go ahead and make another one exactly like this so pause the video make another one and I'll meet you for the next part now, once you've got your uh, front and back panels, we can start working on a side one. So make a slip knot again and chain 13. And then you want to make rows of single crochet two times again and this is going to be exactly the same pattern we use for the front panel it's just shorter piece but yeah starting into the second hook make a single crochet and you will have 12 single crochets for this row and through the whole panel so i'm gonna make two rows of single crochets and i will be So I now have two rows of single crochets. I chained one and I turned my work. For row three, it's gonna be exactly the same as we did. So single crochet in the first one and then a spike stitch two rows below in the next one. Then you will continue with, the, with this till the end of the row, which will leave you with 12 stitches. So make sure your stitch count doesn't change, that you don't miss any stitches. And I'll meet you at the end. So there is the last stitch so into the chain here this is the very last chain where our spike stitch should be pull through two and chain one to begin row number four so once again single crochet in the first one and then crochet two together single crochet in the next crochet two together and continue with single crochet and then single crochet two together till the end of your row And then when you reach the end, 
it's single crochet in the last stitch because we don't have another bar to crochet two together chain one and turn your work for row five we will be doing spike stitches again so you want to make sure that you're coming in the right spot so two rows below my hook is gonna go into this spot here making sure i'm here i don't have a middle because i only have one bar here but that's okay as long as it's two rows below then single crochet in next and two rows below spike stitch in next followed by single crochet and you're just going to repeat this till the end of your row And you will finish with the single crochet and last stitch then chain one and turn your work and this is gonna be our row six so I'm gonna start with two single crochets and then I'm gonna crochet two together single crochet in the next crochet two together and repeat this till the end of your row oops and we will finish with a single crochet and then chain one so you will uh, need to repeat rows three to six again for total for another six times so that's gonna make 30 rows again and I'll meet you then once you've got 30 rows this is how it should look like so you can count those the squares again if you're unsure when you've got the 30 rows but at the end chain one and you can pull your tail through to secure don't worry if this is looking a bit bigger than your big panel because if I put those to comparison you can tell that this one is way bigger even though it has the same amount of rows but don't worry just because this is uh, a lot bigger it kind of stretches it out but yeah if I stretch this one as well it then looks quite to the similar size so don't worry if it's looking way too big when we will join them together it's gonna uh, sort out so when you finish the side panel you will need to make another two because we will be using this as a bottom and uh, for the sides as well so go ahead and do another two and I'll meet you to join the back together and do the handles when you've got all five panels done we will start joining them I'll start with the side and bottom ones so you want to make sure that your first one you have is with the last row we did so initial chain is at the bottom and then I have with the last row here as well so I'm gonna join these two together using single crochet joining method and you want to join them while having right side up so this one is your right side and this one is your right side as well and we have 12 stitches here so we will have 12 single crochets so grab your hook put that into the very first stitch on both panels yarn over and pull up a loop and that's to start off I'm gonna chain one and go into that same stitch pull up a loop and single crochet into the next stitch 
for both panels, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and repeat that total of 12 times or until the end of this side. That's my last stitch. I'm gonna chain one and pull my yarn through. It does stuck a bit because my cat messed up this one so I'll need to leave a bigger loop. And that's it for this one. This is how it will look, it will have this quite visible row of joining and that's what we want then you will grab your third one but this time joining the bottom chain with the bottom chain so we have our last row here and last row here and I will be joining with the same method so you can do this and I'll meet you at the next step. When you have all of those joined together, you want to grab one of the big panels, making sure that your last row or ending row is at the top and we will be joining this long piece we've got. So this is gonna be our side then this is gonna be our bottom and this is the side again and we will be joining with a single crochet as well and you want to hold your work right sides up so that we get this joining row on our right side but yeah you want to grab your hook your yarn and start joining from either of the sides If you need, you can use safety pins or stitch markers to put that in place. But starting with the very first one here, I'm going to put my hook through both of those panels and I will grab my yarn. Put that on your hook and pull through both panels. Chain one to secure. And you can always grab as many tails as you can to hide them in so you have less tails to hide later. And into that same first space we went with the yarn, we're gonna go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and do a single crochet. And you kind of want to go into the space you can find because these are not the stitches it's the side of our row so it can be quite difficult to know what amount of stitches you need but where you see the space just go and single crochet along the side And you want to repeat this until you reach this corner with the 
joining of the two panels then you want to turn your work and continue with that same single crochet joining method along those three sides and I'll, then I'll meet you at the end and once you finish joining all the sides it will be looking something like this and then you want to grab your second uh, big panel and join along those three sides as well while having your work on the right side and I'll meet you for the handle part and when you finish joining both sides it will look something like this square boxy shape and then before uh, doing our handles we will need to count eight stitches from where we've joined this so on your big panel count eight stitches and we will put the stitch marker into the ninth stitch and do the same with the other side here one two three four five six seven eight and into the ninth as well and then do the same exact thing on this side is just to mark the spot where our handles will be placed there we are and now we will do one row of single crochets around the wool bag opening so you will grab your crochet hook and put your hook into that very first stitch grab your yarn pull up a loop and chain one to secure once again i will be trying to hide as many tails as i can get but then you will go into that same first stitch with a single crochet and continue with that all around so you will have 44 stitches for the big panels and 12 for the sides when you reach your stitch marker just take it out do the single crochet and then you can put that back in if you don't have stitch markers you can use anything else like safety pins or even a bit of a yarn to mark those places and then just go all around the bag opening And when you go all around the opening, you will then need to put your hook into the first single crochet you made, pull up a loop and make a slip knot. Then chain one to secure, you can cut your yarn off and pull through. Now for the handles, you want to put your hook where your stitch marker is and then grab your yarn, make a loop and pull through, chain one to secure and then starting with the same stitch here, go in and do a single crochet and continue doing single crochets until you have six for this row. Then chain one, turn your work and do six single crochets again and you will be repeating this for a total of 70 rows. Chaining one at the end of each row. So do 70 of single crochets and I'll meet you at the end. 
Once you finish 70 rows of single crochets, line it with the second stitch marker you have here, making sure that the handle isn't tangled. And starting with the stitch that we've got our stitch marker in here, and with the first one of the handle, we will be join it, joining it with the slip stitch. So I can now take my stitch marker out and I will be going into six stitches. So once again starting with the very first one I will do a slip stitch and I will repeat this through all six. That's the very last one. Then you can chain one at the end. You can cut your yarn off and pull it through. I've got quite long here, but just to secure it. And this is how it will look once joined. So now you want to go and repeat the same thing for your second handle. And once you finish your second handle, this is it. You only have to hide the tails in and you'll be done. Bye.